Hello everybody, Crab Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Just got the uh, truck and trailer tarped. Um, so, some things have happened. We did finish this field. And I did get a hold of both of our neighbors. As you can see, we are... Ooh, uh, super strength. It's still on. That needs to go off. Oops. Um, as you can see here, we only have $10,000 left. Um, let's first of all fix this truck, because that's going to drive me nuts. Okay. As you can see, we only have $10,000. And last episode, we had like 30-some. Well, neighbors came through. We have couple of trucks, a couple of trailers, and we have a tractor and a baler sitting here. So we talked to our neighbor Joe. He was done for the year with baling. And he has this Vermeer 605N. This is a cornstalk special that he said works very well for soybeans as well. He said he would also throw in a tractor for us because he knew that we only have two main tractors and our other two tractors over at our ranch are just a little underpowered to be running this big baler so he said well I'll just send you I'll just send my baling tractor right along with it so he sent his Case IH 8930 over to us and he also let us use his Freightliner FLD and his step deck trailer so we can get everything loaded up and hauled out of here in a reasonable manner. And then I talked to our other neighbor, Mr. Daryl, and he came through with his Peterbilt 352 cab over and his jet hopper trailer. Uh, so we did already start filling it. We have the front hopper full and we got a little bit dumped in the back just empty out the combine we got 870 bushels sitting in this truck so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead first of all we're going to jump on over here I have our combine over here at field 38 and it does not want to let me select the combine apparently Okay, well, we're going to tap to the combine then. So, I got this guy sitting right over here. I have a course made up, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get him going fired first. up and ready to roll. Uh, I love hay. We're gonna come like Grandpa here. always said, if it ain't red, keep it in the shed. Huh, interesting. Okay, we're going to jump over here. And uh, fire up this tractor we're gonna load up our course for 39 here and we're gonna get this thing rolling and get it bailing up our straw we're gonna see how many soybean bales we can make she's all fired up and ready to roll hey boss all done with the job. Over. Starting. What is our bale size? Does this thing only make 180s? It could be, I guess. Okay, it does. Perfect. Well, then we're good to go. Back. Roger that. I'll get it done. Perfect. So we're gonna get him going, and then we're gonna grab our grain cart, <clears throat> and we're gonna get on over here to the field where we have our combine going. We're gonna let him just do his thing. Let him get all that uh, baled up, and we'll see how many bales he can get made off of there. And we 
will probably have to jump over and uh, pick up some bales after a little bit, but we're going to let him go for a little while. He should be okay for at least the next little bit, so we're going to pop on up in here. We're going to follow that combine around for a little bit. So because um, the neighbors came through now, we are going to um, we're going to be putting a small hold on finishing up um, or on working on some tillage. Uh, at least for the moment because we need to keep an eye on this combine and we need to keep up with that tractor <clears throat> as he uh, works on that so um, and actually let's just hop on over here and see how he's doing so he's already made four bales. Now, <clears throat> this is an auto-loading trailer. So we will be auto-loading the bales. But let's just uh, take a look here and see. Alright. Now I don't quite remember just how many bales this trailer holds. We'll have to look at that here in a second. That makes me think that I'm going to miss the bale entirely every time it uh, waits until like halfway down the trailer. I would assume that this thing holds quite a few. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. Uh, low loaders. 34 is what this trailer holds, so it'll be able to take on quite a few bales before we gotta worry about uh, finding out where we gotta go to sell them. This is a very nice trailer. At uh, some point in the future, I would like to look into. Breaker 1 9. I just threw a level 1 warning. So now, okay, so this does work the same. Hmm. Interesting. I was just curious of uh, how unloading this goes or if we were to get one because if it's if it seems like it's going to be a disaster for unloading these bales then maybe we would uh, stay away from this trailer and just get like the Anderson trailer or something so he's by the time he hits the end of that first row he's going to be about 10 bales. Breaker, breaker. So I just threw a level 2 warning on the cattle tail. Come That's back. It's not all that bad. So I have a feeling we'll get a... We're going to get a pretty decent amount of uh, soybean bales. Which should help give us a decent amount of money. down of just where our combine is. There he is. Perfect. He will be in position for us to unload him by the time we get over there.
Perfect. So we'll get him unloaded. And as soon as we fill the grain cart, I'll go ahead and I'll bring that cab over uh, to this field. And then we'll get it loaded up. I think a full grain cart should top that off. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's check here. Are we done processing? Yes, we are. So we finished off with 525 and a half yards of silage off of just that one field. So, we definitely got a very, very good amount of Okay, signs. holler, I'm good. Perfect. We'll let him run. Alright, so he has made a few more bales. So let's go ahead and just <coughs> follow around and pick him up. So that way, once he gets done with his headland passes, then we don't have to really worry about him. Definitely glad that our neighbor offered to l rent us his uh, equipment to bale this field, because if we had to use our baler, Oh my goodness, we would have bales galore with uh, how small our baler is. We would we would be hauling bales for quite some time with that with uh, not only with the baler that we have but with our trailer that we have even would just be absolutely insane. This is a pretty nice truck, though. He uh, he definitely keeps it pretty clean. He said the guy he bought it from uh, used it to pull a bull rack all the time. So he said it uh, it definitely got its share of abuse. It is a really nice truck, though. I uh, I would not mind a truck like this. Maybe someday in the future, if one comes up for sale. And it's definitely a really nice trailer as well. Um, I'm glad that he offered for us to use it. Definitely very, very thankful for uh, good neighbors. Such as uh, Mr. Joe and uh, Mr. Daryl there. Just a little bit further and then we can let this guy just do his thing and get this field all finished up. Just about ready to kick out another one. There we go. So as soon as he kicks out that last bale, he should be uh, free and clear to, to go on his way without any issues yeah perfect so we'll grab this last one and then we're gonna just pull this truck off to the side we're gonna drive over that uh, field just a little bit but oh well all right and to save fuel we're gonna go ahead and just shut her on down and then we're gonna take this guy up to our field because by the time we get up there we should be well ready to go unload that combine again 
and then we'll be able to uh, <clears throat> hopefully get this truck filled. We'll see. Ooh, okay, that's a bigger dip than I thought. This is a really nice combo as well. Really like this truck trailer. I have used this trailer in the past. Um, and it is a pretty good mod. It's uh, very well done. This is another very clean, uh, very nice rig. Ooh. <coughs> um, yeah, I, I really like this truck as well. Let's see, what's going to be a good place to put this truck? Because this field down here is very, very hilly and uneven. I don't want to put this thing right smack in the way of the combine or anything either. I think right there we should be okay. So, let's grab our tractor here, and we'll swing over to that combine. Wow, and that combine has been able to go quite a ways without filling. This field definitely, uh, definitely did not have enough fertilizer on it, and I was kind of worried about that, so... I guess uh, we'll see what we can get off of it, and what we get is what we get. I guess little is better than none in this case. bit more there guy okay, we'll let him get turned around and straightened out here we'll see if we can't get that last two percent that we need to fill this green card up we're so close perfect there we go all right Let's get this over here and get this dumped, and hopefully it will fill our truck. If not, we'll have to uh, unload that combine just a little bit more, and then we'll be able to get her. <clears throat> now we got to watch here. This truck does have some pretty tall stacks. We got to kind of keep away from them perfect now we'll see here if uh, this will fill this truck up or not and I am not thinking that it is going to so we're gonna need to unload the combine Probably one more time to be able to fill this up. It's pretty close, but not close enough yet. Ooh, okay. Now he is going to be a minute, so why don't we just go ahead. We're going to take this guy, and we're going to throw him on course play and go ahead and uh, get him going. just so that it can kind of get moving because like I said in uh, last episode we have a lot 
of uh, field work ahead of us yet before snow hits, so we might as well get a jump on it while we can. Go ahead. We need the sunflower. Load field 32. Copy that. Let's see what we can get done. We'll go ahead and get him rolling. And this guy's going to be on a whole bunch of just dumb little passes here. But I guess that's the way that it goes with course play sometimes. Okay, and he is. Hey, boss. Uh, All done with this job. Over. Trying to run an offset. Forget that this, for whatever reason, this disc always wants to do that, and it never wants to read the correct Roger that. working way. It it's just a hassle. Uh, I do plan on trading this in pretty soon, hopefully. Um, we've been looking at like Landall. Um, looking at deers, looking around at other. I got this job options, covered. If you want to so. go do something else. This guy's only made twenty six bales so far, so not even enough yet for a full load. He's getting there, though. He's getting there. see if we can't uh, run down here and get a thumbnail for this video I'm going to wait for him to come up just a little bit closer here. Oh, I was hoping to catch him when he filled. Let's see if we can. I think that'd make a good thumbnail. Having him dumping out a soybean bale. This guy is rolling. So now, I think what we'll do I got do this job actually, covered if you want to go do something else. Good to see you, go boss. Go ahead and uh, we'll start hauling some more bales, because by the time that... Oh, uh, well, there's no way that that guy's only made 26 bales. We've got 20 on this, and he had more than 6. Had to have. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start loading these bales up and see if, oh, probably helps if I turn the, uh, if I put it in the loading position, if 
by the time we get caught up to them, you should have enough for a full load. Oop. This, that one didn't want to get picked up right away. three more bales so we should have those last three here momentarily oh, yep there's one more so while we're waiting on him to make those last two let's go ahead and take a look here we gotta find soybean straw in this list soybean straw so the highest right now is $138.52 a yard at Ruby's Feed Store. So let's go ahead and tag that place. And let's take a look here and figure out just where that's at. All right. Okay, perfect. So it's right down there just after the shop. Right, uh, right at the animal dealer. So, we'll get these last two bales. And then we'll haul this load in and see what kind of money we can get off of, uh, off of this load of straw bales of soybean straw bales I should say we're gonna stop here and perfect we're gonna get this thing strapped down slower on down before we start getting down this hill and into these curves. Our combine must still be on his uh, short rows he isn't really filling up all that fast definitely a large drop in elevation going from up there, down into town. So now I, I believe that we just keep on going straight here. And this road should lead us all the way to where we need to get. For the most part, anyways, I should say. So then right here to our right, that is the elevator that we're going to be hauling all of our grain to. That is where we can haul everything and we can uh, have it loaded on the train and sent straight out 
to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where uh, we can get a lot more for it. I'm gonna wait for the uh, green light here. Breaker, breaker. I'm all done. In the world. That's a big 10 four, good buddy. Oh, it's catching on the collision for that light. Okay, well that light's green. Did not work. Left the course. Stop. What left the course? This guy. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Must have had some issues turning around or something there. Hey, good money. Roger that. I'll get it done. Okay, and our combine is starting to work on some longer rows there, so that is good. Alright, let's continue uh, going here and see if we can. And I was not paying attention, and we went through a red light. There we go. I guess I should have uh, paid a little bit closer of attention. Looks like this is going to be a nightmare. This trigger does not seem big enough. back up. Get rid of that last one. Come on now. All right, let's see if we can't. We're gonna turn our super strength on here for just a minute. I'm gonna pull a Popeye and throw down a can of spinach. All right, so let's take a look here and see. off of that sold bales sixty seven thousand dollars off of that load of bales so as I had mentioned before selling these bales is going to prove to be quite profitable uh, for us and uh, he's a this guy has already made another 12 bales. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep working on this. We'll come back when we are close to done with our soybean harvest. And uh, I'll continue picking up some of these bales. 
and uh, see if I can't figure out a better way to try and unload these bales because this way is just not it. Um, okay, I thought we still had one loose, but I guess not. But that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. If you do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, everybody, we'll catch you all tomorrow.